to what's going on, this preacher. So, it's Friday, 12 o'clock noon. I had delivered my um, my contract to freight this morning. I was done by like 10.30, and I booked me a, um, a water load 27 miles up the street in um, Jupiter, Florida, that goes to Arcadia, Florida, to the Walmart. I actually booked two of these. Uh, be five hundred dollars a piece. It's one hundred and fifteen miles for uh, five hundred dollars a piece. So uh, I delivered this load at Walmart at five thirty uh, today. Then after that, I go home. I stay about ninety-four miles away from the uh, Walmart. And then I'm off Saturday, but. I have to, uh, I got some air leaks. I'm sitting here at the door now, right? No. Getting loaded and the truck is off. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm just looking all on my phone and I look up, I, I'm seeing my gauge. My secondary air pressure is going down. And then it's like, soon as it had hit like 90 PSI, it started going down quickly. I'm like, man, oh man. So that means I got an air leak. And at least I know where to start off looking. And that's uh on my secondary tape in those um airlines and, and then those those fittings. So of course I turned my truck back on. I I build air, so I just got my truck on now. Um uh, keeping the uh, the air air going, and then I'm gonna turn it off in a minute and see where I can find the the, the uh the air leak because obviously I, I got an air leak somewhere. And then I heard it on my secondary tank tank, and I think it's one of the fittings that is actually on the tank that is uh that is um uh, leaking the air. But the uh, first one is fine. My primary tank and my uh, Odin tank, all, all that is fine. So it's, it's somewhere on my secondary tank, which is on my passenger side, up under uh, the, the door right there. So I got to go out to my truck Saturday, tomorrow, to get that fitting or find out where the area is so I can uh, uh, fix that for next week. I got my towel because my uh, AC mount bracket broke on my AC compressor. I told you, but they don't make those brackets no more. Okay, they make those brackets part of a kit for another mount. And they don't make the mount, my mount, no more. They make the conversion uh, mount for it. And I couldn't find the um, original. Now, I don't need the mount. I just need the bracket that attaches to the mount. But they just don't make that particular bracket. They make that bracket into a plate that mounts, uh, that attaches to the new mount. So that was my problem. So I've been without AC now for three weeks, trying to find that uh, that uh, the new mount and bracket. And one company that I found, uh, well, that company went out of business. I paid them my money. All this was um, through PayPal. I paid them my money. And they said it takes about seven days to process the order, business days. So I'm like, well, okay, you know, no problem. So after a week and a half, I go to the website and it said that my order is still pending. So I'm trying to contact the people and um, emailing the people about it. I'm like, man, I've been without AC now. At that point, I've been without AC for two weeks. So I'm like, whew, it is hot, boy. You know, I'm down here in Florida. I know some of y'all up north may be all... Uh, Look cold wearing some little sweaters and stuff, but down here it is still hot. Let me tell you what, it is hot. So I'm trying to contact the company, and then nobody's calling me back. So then Thursday, Wednesday. So then on Wednesday, I'm, I'm googling. So I was like, okay, now I, log, I try to log back into the company, go to the company website, so I can log back on, right, and get the account and see the status of the order. You know, maybe people work for home, whatever. I go to the page, and they said that this site is no longer active. I'm like, what? I didn't 
they paying these people my money and now this sex no longer active. I'm like, man, look at here, look at here. So I'm trying to contact them, I ain't get nothing, and then plus they site is down. So I had to contact PayPal and I told PayPal, listen, man, here's the site. I tried to contact them. They, they're saying that the site is down. The phone number is not working. Nobody's picking up. I need my money back. So, you know, PayPal said you'll get your money back. You know, they got to investigate it within three to five days. It took like two hours. Not even really two hours. And I got my money back and I got my money back into my uh, my business checking account. And then uh, PayPal was like, yeah, that company didn't shut down. So I had to uh, find another place to order the mount from. It's the same mount. Three other places, they was out of stock of that mount. The three other places was about $60 more expensive than the company that I found that had that mount. So that's why I went with that particular company. And those three other companies, I said, well, I'll just go ahead and just pay the extra money, right? With those three companies, was out of stock. So I'm like, oh, here we go again. It's already been three weeks, man. I don't have no air conditioning. And it's hot sitting up here. I'm cooking, man. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. So I was like, oh, man, all right. So then I had to find another company that I found through eBay this time. So I went through eBay. And then a company on um, eBay had the particular mount. So I ordered that mount on Wednesday. I had ordered the mount from that company on eBay. And I just looked at my ring and UPS just dropped it. Then I got a message from eBay that said that my mount has been delivered. I had to pay a little bit more. This one was 267, was two, what? 280 something total, total for it. But I'm like, hey man, it's hot, man. I gotta, I gotta have a rag. But then I'm inside the rainy for the weather. And then the windows getting fogged all up when it rains. You know, cause the windows up and in, in the heat and, and it's getting fogged up. You're trying to um, dry with foggy windows. It's bad, man. So my mount just came in today as well. But I'm tired, man. I, I'm. I'm really tired. And plus, I booked me another load on Sunday. Sunday morning, as a matter of fact. I, I booked that load on uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. And it's another water load paying 500 bucks. From the same, doing the same thing from Jupiter to Arcadia. I stayed 24 miles away from Jupiter. And like I say, it's 115 miles to um, Arcadia. Uh, for, for him. So, so it's all good. So I've been doing these extra loads because I got things going on that I'm working on. You know, I got things going on that I'm working on. You know, I'm trying to uh, finish getting everything I need for whenever my authority go active. Right. So it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that I still need. Like for instance, a trailer. So I'm trying to save up for the trailer for um, once my authority go ahead. Now I'm not gonna use my authority right away because I still need to get a trailer. Then when I get the trailer, of course it's gonna be a used trailer. I gotta put the trailer inside the shop, make sure the trailer is, is good, good to go. So I still got a lot of things that I'm working on on the back scenes um, before I actually start running up under my um, own own authority. So, so, so yeah, so I uh, still gonna have this truck on onto West, but uh, my authority gonna be with my other truck. I'm sitting here with these people just coming out trying to figure out what they're doing. So my other truck is gonna be running up under my authority, and this truck I have, which is my day cab, would be uh, still leased on to uh, West. Everybody here, well, why that? Why that? People who got their own authority when they get these insurance going over insurances you know why if they tell you listen for the first six months you can't put nobody on you can't hire nobody you can't do none of that other kind of good stuff uh, under your authority so you have to basically run up under your authority when you first started off with these insurances and things like that you know unless you just got that kind of money to where that uh, you want to 
pay the, the big money for some of these uh, bigger ins insurance companies, bro. No, I, I don't got that kind of money and things like that. So, so yeah, for like six months, can't uh, hire nobody, can't sign nobody on, all this other particular stuff. But with uh, West, I can hire a driver on as long as they got like you know a year of experience with me. So I can hire a driver, put a driver in this truck, do local work like I'm doing. You know, I got these um, contracts that I can get to where that um, it'd be like seven fifty a day. Running this truck and my driver is home it, it, every single night, and it's seven fifty a load, but it's it's, a, it's one load five days a week. On that, you know. I, put a driver in and do that while I'm running in front of my authority and my other truck. But the problem is um, all these parts and these shops are so far behind so getting the truck into the shop to get get it um, looked at especially my mechanic, he just had a baby so he took some time off. He just didn't have a baby. His wife and him you know she had the baby and he's taking some time off. So he's taking a, a couple weeks off so I can't even get the truck into the shop now so he can, can look at it and uh, you know do what we need to do to get it ready because with even when I got bought this truck you know I still put another 20 like 28 almost 3500 bucks into this truck when I got this truck getting it road ready and then the other truck needs some stuff <clears throat> and I want to do some stuff to it um, before I even take out on the road you know so it, it can sit for as long as it needs to sit until I, uh, I get and I still can uh, run, run this truck. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. My insurance per month <clears throat> is about 1900, 1900, something, 1908, 1907, something like that. I'm, uh, I'm in Florida. For y'all be like, oh, y'all do y'all research, okay? Before you talk, do your research, okay? So. I try not to talk about stuff that I don't know about without doing research before I start coming. Because when you make assumptions, you make a, what is that, ass out of you and stuff, and not out of me and all this other kind of stuff, just don't assume, okay? Just just don't assume until you do some research before you start running your mouth about stuff, okay? So if you don't know what you talk about, don't. And like I tell other people, listen, don't come to my channel with uh, stuff that you didn't hear from other YouTubers from YouTube University, don't don't if you don't got facts and uh, paperwork to back it up, don't comment on about stuff that you don't know about. Okay, don't. It's easier to uh, what you heard, where you you heard. We grown men and women out here. All right, so all this stuff tough stuff talking about how what you didn't hear, what you no, you do your research. You hear something, now you research what you heard. Make sure what you heard is correct okay it's like we do in the church right the bible says study to show that self approved so even though you hear what preachers is saying pastors is saying evangelists whatever you see you hear what the church is saying you're supposed to read for yourself so you have the knowledge so when they saying things you didn't read it before and you didn't know it before you're supposed to take notes as the person is preaching or speaking right and then, okay, they had a good message. Those notes, you go back and you research what that person was talking about inside the Bible. Because if it's in the Bible, it's going to be there, right? So that's why you're taking notes. So that way you know that the teachings that you get in the church is accurate to what the Word of God says. Take that same approach in everything you do. When you're listening to these YouTube truckers and stuff, some of it's great information take that information down research that information to make sure that it is correct and then you find out how that information can help you and what you are trying to do okay so you just don't take what everybody say because people are talking for about their own experience where they stay in and each state is different let me tell you about it. each state is different insurance in different markets is different okay the type of truck that you have for your insurance is different. Totally different prices, okay? My driving record is different from your driving record. 
oh, I got this insurance for this. Well, that's your driving record. My driving record may be different from yours. and what? Because where you stay at affects your insurance rates as well. So just because somebody else is getting a good quote and they're in this particular state, in this particular area, it doesn't mean just because you use the same insurance that they got, you're going to get those low quotes too. It does not work like that, y'all. It does not work like that. All right, everything, all the information has to be exactly the same for you to get the exactly the same thing for somebody else, right? Okay, so your situation may be different. So that's why you got to do your different quotes, okay? I had quotes from nine different places, okay? And they was round about the same thing. And they was going anywhere between 23,000 to about 26, 27,000. Okay, so it, it is a little difference, all right? But it's like four, five thousand dollar difference. Uh, from different insurance companies and things like that, but they, uh, some of them have different ratings, some of them was the same ratings. And what I want on my policy could be different than what you want on your policy. Because on my policy, I got the towing, and then I have cleanup after um, an accident, they can come in and clean up. I got breakdown coverage, so if I break down on the side of the road, I can get towed to where I need to go and I don't have to come out the pocket. All that costs money. I got travel expenses, so if I break down and my family have to come and uh, pick me up or something like that, if I break down and it re it'll reimburse me up to 2500 bucks for those expenses right there. I have uh, rental uh, coverage that starts like right away. I have rental coverage that if I'm broken down for 14 days or more than they'll cover me for a, uh, a rental truck and all these are like rental trucks so if something happens to my truck I can keep my business going all right if I have a mechanical breakdown uh, they'll cover me on a uh, rental truck and y'all know these mechanical breakdowns you can go to a place you can be waiting three weeks you can be waiting a month and a half because of parts you never know but my coverage will cover me so that's why when I say you're looking at about 25, 26,000, that's why it's up there. If I just want just the base, the bare minimum, if I want the bare minimum, I found coverage for $17,000 for the bare minimum I need for my operating authority. $17,000, the bare minimum. Yep, yep, $17,000. So when people be saying, hey, yeah, I got this for this, 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 well, what type of coverage did they get to get it for that price? Again, you have to know what you're talking about now, okay? It's, it, you, you, you have to know. People tell me all this, yeah, they tell me all this, but did they, they, they break down how it was so cheap or why it was so cheap? Yeah, I found coverages. Berkshire Hathaway quoted me 17000 200 or something dollars, bare minimum. Boop. Progressive was $19,000, bare minimum coverage. Done. Just, just the bare minimum. Oh, Ida, they, they quoted me uh, a little bit over $18,000, bare minimum. Boop. No, I don't want the bare minimum coverage though. That's not me, that's not what I want. I'm trying to protect my business and if something happens, I'm trying to protect myself while I'm on the road, especially tow. Y'all know these tow bills can be $2,000 easy, right? And then you get towed to a shop, right? And now they say it's going to take like two weeks for you, your truck to be fixed, three weeks. Hey, no problem. Fix it. I call me a rental company, Pensick or a rider or whatever. Hey, I need to rent a truck. Covered. And I'm still rolling. While my truck is sitting where it needs to be sitting there for two weeks. And then the expenses for me going to from wherever it is to the right of place and everything covered because I'm covered up to 2500 bucks. That's for planes, rental cars, whatever, hotel room stay, everything covered. So I can go straight from the dealership, rent a car, go to Ryder, go to Penske or, or, or whatever and rent me another semi truck covered under my insurance while my truck is getting fixed cover okay so no nah, they don't cover the whole expenses too for some of y'all acts 
they only cover up to uh, $325 a day. But that's still something, you know. To rent a truck now, you gotta put down $5,000. $5,000, and then you have to pay for the miles up front for what you go to um, run. So that's gonna be in like another 15 to 18, 1900 on top of that $5,000. So you're looking at just to rent a vehicle, when you break down to keep your business going, that's about $7,000. Just chop it up like that. Do some research so y'all know what's going on. Like I say, just don't listen to people. Do some research. You're starting a business, knowing what you need to keep your business up and keep, keep it um, successful running. So I know I need, no, at, no, at all times, I need at least $7,000. So if my vehicle break down, bam. $7,000, $5,000 down as a deposit, another $2,000 because you got to pay for the week in advance to make your money. Okay, but as an owner op, listen, you could do two loads. You got $7,000 off rip. So you get your money back for it, and then, yeah, you paying $2,000 a week for a truck, but it's only for a short term to your truck get uh, up the running. And as an owner op, you know that you got to chop that up to business. It's called a business expense. People, people don't want to spend no money for their business. You want to truck a business, but you don't want to spend no money for the business. You try to run a business in less than money. No, no, it takes business. It's business expense. It's overhead costs. You ain't getting nothing for bare free if you want to run a successful business. You're going to have to spend some money. Okay? Why? Because you don't know what you're doing. And you ain't going to learn what you're doing for YouTube University. You, you, you're not. You, you, you're not. You got people that are giving you bits and pieces, but it's based off of their business plan of what they are trying to do. It's not based off of your business plan of what you're trying to do and where you stay. Okay, it's based off of where they stay and what they're trying to do in their thought process on what they try to do in the future with their business. That's totally different from yours. So you can't do it how somebody else and you just can't go out and be like, well, I would have did this. And looking at their situation, tell them what you would have done. You're not in their situation for you to be like that. That's why I don't talk about nobody in their situation. Hey, if that's what they want to do and that's how they want to make the money, fine. If you want to do a lease purchase, if you want to do a lease, if you want to go out and buy a cash truck, you want a new truck, who I am, I, I'm not giving you no money. I'm not an investor in your business. So why should I invest my idea in your business? I'm not invested in your business. I can care less what you got in your pocket. I ain't worried about what another man got in their pocket. Okay, that another man money don't have nothing to do with me and my money and what I'm trying to do. So why do I want to listen to your opinion based off of what I'm trying to do? And you ain't me. Because you failed at it don't mean I'm going to fail at it. If I was to do a lease purchase, just because you fell at don't mean I was going to fail at it. You may not be as determined as me. You may not do all your research like I do. You Okay, you, you may be, you know, crazy or radical about what you're doing. And I may be more laid back than, than what you Just because you fell at something don't mean I'm going to fail at something. So at least purchase for me, it may work. Because it may work with what I'm trying to do and where I'm at. Just because it didn't make it for you. My education level is different from your education level. My comprehension is different from your comprehension. You probably don't want to run like I want to run. Listen, I run 24 hours a day. I don't care what time I start off. I don't care what time I deliver. But you may only just want to run in the morning time or at night. You may only want to run from 6 o'clock in the morning so you can be shut down by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night because you don't like to run at night. That's you. You don't want to go in this area, but I don't care where I go. I go in the 48 states. You probably only want to go in the three-state range. That's you. So ain't no market for what you want to do, so you ain't making money in your market for what you want to do at the times that you want to run. But me, I don't care. I'm going to run wherever. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to make the money. I'm going to follow the money where the money is in. See, that's what I mean by it. You can't go by what other people do. Because what you want to do may not be what they want to do. All right, man, it's 25 minutes. I'll talk to y'all later.